Hi, pet lovers. Thank you for joining Gino's Grooming Channel. Today's episode is going to be working with dogs on the floor. So we're going to go ahead and talk about why we would need to work on the floor with certain pets for grooming and grooming tasks. And then we're going to go through some tips and tricks to make it easier for you and for the pets that you are working on. So let's go ahead and jump in. So why do we need to work with some dogs on the floor? I'm going to go through some reasons. So the first one is the obvious one, is that you are a home groomer or you are maintaining your dog in between professional grooming visits and you don't have a table. So you don't have an elevated surface to work with your pet. So you have to go ahead and create an environment where you, where you can work with your pet on the floor. The second reason, and you'll see this in a professional environment, um, is that a dog could be special needs or elderly. So we want to make sure that we're very careful with our special needs babies. They might not have the stability in their legs to stand on an elevated surface. So we have to keep it really safe, keep them on the ground, make sure that they can't fall off of the surface, and make sure that they stay really secure while you're working with them. Another reason is that the dog is rambunctious. So if you have a dog that likes to jump off tables, a little hyperactive, maybe a very young dog, uh, you want to consider working with the pet on the floor to keep them safe. And last but not least, one of the biggest reasons uh, for working with dogs on the floor is that the dog is huge. So I don't put any dogs on an elevated surface that I can't catch. Uh, so any dogs that are over a certain amount of weight, I make sure to work with them on the floor because I want to make sure that if something happens, I'm able to catch them. Um, and if they are outweighing me, obviously I can't. So I go ahead and work with them on the floor. Okay, so let's go through some of the basics of working with our pets on the floor. Okay, Rosie's our little model. She's going to help us. And so what I want to show you is that first you want to go ahead and make sure that the pet is secure. I am using a slip lead. If you guys have any interest in slip leads and how they work, slip leads, kennel leads, we do have an episode out on that. Make sure to look for that on Gino's grooming channel. And we want to go ahead and secure a pet. I'm going to show you in most professional environments, we either have a tie out or a hitch. And I showed in the slip lead uh, demonstration a quick way to do a tie. This is a quick release tie, okay, for your pets. Now, why is it important to secure your pets? If they're not secured, they're gonna go ahead and wander off. Even the best trained dogs are probably gonna go ahead, wander off um, if you're brushing them or combing them or doing other grooming tasks. So you wanna make sure that they kind of psychologically know they are secured. Now, if you don't have a hitch, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, and you'll see this in also one of my videos um, working with a gentle giant, is that this is an umbrella holder. But what's great, which is a lot of households have one of these in their yards to go ahead and hold your umbrella, but this is about 30, 35 pounds. Um, what I can do is secure a dog to this, okay, using that same knot, uh, the quick release knot. Okay, and now this gives the dog, again, that psychological factor that they can't go anywhere. They have to go ahead and stay put. Some of our giant breeds that I work on can absolutely pull this, but that psychological factor that there's a little bit of tension, a little bit of resistance, tells the dog that it's time for grooming and to stay put. So let's go into some of the tips and tricks, uh, some of the practical things that you need to know when working with your pet on the floor. Um, obviously, a towel is always a good idea. Um, Go ahead, step on the towel, mama. Good girl. And this way you kind of have a padded surface. So if you're going ahead and brushing your dog, um, doing whatever you need to be doing with your pet, you have a nice area to put your knees on a towel, but you're still kind of on the ground. So I'm gonna go into some more options that you can do to make it a little more comfortable for you. Okay, so this is a foam pad made for gardening. Um, and what's great, this is for your knees. So this is designed so if you're gardening, uh, you have some support for your knees. Make sure that your knees aren't touching ground and you can keep yourself in this place a lot longer with a foam pad. So if you're brushing your dog, combing your dog, uh, you can go ahead, implement this foam pad. Again, this is, can be bought at any gardening store um, and work with your dog in between professional grooming visits or as pet professionals. You can go ahead and include this to save your knees a little bit while you're working with pets on the ground. Another very helpful thing to consider when working on the ground is a little squatting stool, okay? And this gives us a lot of flexibility to go ahead and work with the dog, still be down with them on their level, okay um, but give yourself a little bit of more support um, so that you're not completely on the ground and a little more comfortable for you 
Now talking about stools, this is something that I take out on the road with me if I'm doing in-home grooms. Uh, so this is a variable stool, uh, my favorite toy of the month. Um, but basically this can go ahead and go up, right, and serve you as a stool um, that's a little higher, like a chair. Or what you can do is modify it to go ahead and be a squatting stool so you can go ahead and work with your pet on the ground. So even with all these tools to help us, right, so we could have our knees nice and comfortable, we can have a stool, just know that you're still going to have to manipulate the dog, you're still going to go ahead and have to stretch through and bend through, get into those bits in between their legs, lift them up. So just know that before you're doing any grooming procedures, make sure you stretch, take care of yourself, make sure you're ready to bend and everything that is required to go ahead and work with your dog um, and uh, keep yourself healthy and safe. Well, that's about it, guys. Thank you so much uh, for joining us on this episode of How to Work with Your Pet on the Floor. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, thanks for clicking that thumbs up. We'll see you soon.